that we will be using no first let me show you this isn't this lovely isn't this just so cute now this is a project that you can make with scrap vinyl or waterproof canvas or whatever but today I'm not going to be using scraps I'm actually just going to use this I already have my pieces cut out so I can just jump right in once I'm ready and I'll go this way. so I cut these out already and if you can see this is why this is such a great project for scraps because you don't need too much you don't need too much at all you don't need a lot of material um, so this is why I call it a scrap buster project but you'll see how simple and easy it is to put together so I did make quite a few of these um, because once I made one I was just so in love with them so I just made a whole bunch um, these are just some that I followed the pattern to a T I didn't do anything extra I didn't make any um, alterations to the pattern itself um, but these are so quick and easy uh, here is <clears throat> that I added a little tab for and on this one I just made a strap again from the scraps after I cut the pattern out um, I added this this is optional you don't have to do this I just figured if someone wanted to carry it on their wrist or carry it in their hand like this or whatever they would be able to do this so I added the the d-ring and then the clasp and then also on this one i added some corners put corners to these i got these from amazon i will leave a link for that and then here's one that i did add the corners but i didn't add the strap connector or um the strap to that so let's go over the things that you'll need for this pattern First and foremost, you're going to need some clear vinyl. I'm not going to give you the dimension of these because it's from the pattern. And if you want that, you must purchase the pattern. And I'll leave a link for that. Um, it does call for a number five zipper, but I'm not going to use a number five. I'm going to use the standard number three zipper just because I bought a bunch of these. And I have them on hand and they work great for this project. Uh, you'll need some wonder clips to clip and hold everything in place some grommets which again are optional you don't have to use these I haven't made one with the grommets yet but in this video I will be using the grommets you'll need a ruler a marking tool some glue which is optional you can use glue or you can use double-sided tape but I like to use glue for a certain part and you'll see me use that there I have two different double sided tape I have a quarter inch and then I have a three eighths inch um, a d-ring if you're gonna add the strap connector and the strap to it you'll need a clip this is a three quarter inch um, d-ring you can use a three quarter inch uh, swivel hook as well Again, that's optional. Um, I don't think I missed anything that you'll need. Oh, of course, you'll need the vinyl, which I already showed you that I have these cut out. Um, a rotary cutter or scissors, whichever you prefer. And then a craft knife or exacto knife or whichever you whatever you have. Again, this is an optional, optional tool. You don't necessarily have to have this. I just prefer to use this to cut out the zipper box because it makes it a lot easier and I can get a more precise cut with this. <clears throat> so, if you're ready to watch how easy and quickly this comes together, stay tuned, keep watching. 
So the first thing that I like to do is I like to start with the zipper. Um, so there are two different size, like widths for the, for the um, zipper part. Um, when you use the grommet, or when you decide to make one with the grommet, you're gonna have this extra little um, area right here where the zipper doesn't all the way go um, go further. So you'll, it needs a shorter zipper. Again, this zipper is perfect. Um, I don't have to do too much cutting or anything else to um, make this zipper work. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like without the grommet. <clears throat> What the piece looks like see the zipper box is a lot longer and it's a little bit wider it doesn't have that empty space right here for um, the grommet to go because obviously I cut it out to not install a grommet okay let's get right to it so I'm gonna take my quarter inch tape and then I'm going to just uh, put it directly on the edge of the zipper all the way across both long edges. I'm not going to put any on the short edges because I don't think it's necessary. Um, but if you like to put it on all sides, go for it. It's just a matter of personal preference. So I'm going to do that on the other side. for the remainder of this project. Then I'll just make sure it's all nice and pressed down and I like my zipper to go from left to right to close left and open right. So I'll make sure I put it the right way. And I want my grommet to be on the right side. Actually, I want my grommet to be on the left side because I like to, so if I'm gonna have a grommet here and this is how they're gonna hold it, then I want the zipper to be able to open so that way if they forget to zip it, none of this stuff falls out. Manipulate it a little bit to get it to stick a little bit better. I ordered this tape off of Amazon as well. So I'll only take one side off first and then I'm going to line it up so that my zipper is kind of centered. So now that I have that part done and centered, actually, I'm gonna adjust it just a tad. So I have that where I want it. So I'm gonna just flip this up and then I'm gonna peel this part back and remove this tape. doing it like that you'll kind of keep it nice and even versus having to manipulate it too much and then I'm just gonna be sure that I put my zipper in my display window or the zipper the opening of the zipper box so that way I don't forget to move it when I sew it go to sew it down okay zip Just make sure I put this back so that way it goes right where I want it. I'm just gonna put that up right to the end so I keep my zipper um, relatively straight. So that's what it will look like on the back. Then I'm gonna take it to the machine. Let me change my thread out because I didn't do that. I am using the G Juki DU1181N. Um, you don't need this specific machine. You can use this on a home machine. You can use this on an industrial. Um, depending on the thickness of your vinyl is where how you want to determine which machine you'll use. I can use my um, 
Singer Heavy Duty Machine, or I can use my brother's SE1900 to sew this product, sew this project together. Um, you don't have to have an industrial to do this. Um, and with this walking foot, if I use a thin vinyl, it is kind of difficult because it, with the walking foot, it pushes the material through and if it's too thin, um, the material will tend to bunch up. And I can give you or show you an example of what I mean by that. Um, you can't really tell once the bag is finished, the, the pouch is finished, um, but here's one. So see, it's a little bit wavy here, and that's just because as the walking foot was going through, this vinyl is really thin. So it kind of just grabbed it and pushed it a little bit too much. So it made it a little bit wobbly and wonky, but who can really tell and see that? It's not too... Um, noticeable so <clears throat> but with this one this one is a little bit thicker so um, I didn't have that issue when I was using this one on the others so I like to start on the long edge I'm gonna do it at a at an at an eighth of an inch seam allowance Just cut those. I'm not gonna do anything extra. Once I have that completed, that step completed, I'm going to um, sew the sides on. Okay, so I'll determine which side do I want. And I just like to, it's just me, personal preference. I like to look at all the pieces together. So, I have a green on this side and I have a green on this side. And then I have a yellow here, but then I have pink on the top. So, I'm going to put the yellow here so that way I can stitch that and then this part will be exposed. So, I'm going to flip this this way, line it up with that side. And then I don't want this to show too much. So, I'm going to flip this so this side goes up here. And then when I flip it... After I've sewn it, I can see more pink. And then on this side, I can see more of the blue or purple, however color, whatever color is uh, more prominent. Because it reflects and flips, it's just a little bit hard to tell which color is which truly. So I'm gonna just use these metal clips So I'm just gonna sew both sides at a quarter inch seam allowance. I have my stitch length at a four and a half, um, which I think is perfect. I never, I rarely change my stitch length unless I'm doing a top stitch on a bigger bag and I want the bigger top stitch look. But I always keep my machine at about a four and a half now. Back stitch. Then you want to flip them out and give it a little press, finger press. Don't iron your vinyl, finger press. And then I'm going to top stitch at a quarter inch, I'm sorry, at an eighth of an inch. And then I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So 
I know that that is done. Let's go ahead and move on. So, because I know I want my zipper and my grommet on this side, I'm gonna make sure when I put it, when I put it, um, when I lay it onto it, I'm just gonna line it up to gauge to see where I want it. And that's good, so I'm just gonna flip it down. So, right side of the zipper panel to the right side of the side panels. And then I'm gonna make sure it's lined up correctly and you can see how it's a little bit wavy it wasn't wavy like that until I sewed the zipper on there now you can see so I'll just line this up and the zipper is here so just be mindful that it's going to be a little bit uh, wobbly there I will use water clips on this part because I don't want this to move um, so I'll line up one side, place a clip, and then I'll line up the other side, place a clip, and then I'll just clip down the top. Making sure everything is still nice and even. And then I'm gonna stitch this at a quarter inch seam allowance, just down the clipped edge. And then I'll do the same with the bottom. So see how I put the green here. So I'm gonna flip this. I want this to be like this. So make sure I line it up correctly and then I'll flip it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Actually, you see how it's not as even with the with the clear. So I'll just take my scissors. If you want to use your rotary cutter, you can do that. I'm just gonna eyeball it and cut it off like this. And then I'll do the same on the other side. So now it's a little bit more even. Okay. So then I'll just line that up and even if there's a little bit of overhang, it's fine. You can always cut that off. Um, you rather have too much than enough. Now before I top stitch on to um, the top and bottom or top and back panels I should say because it is a top and top and a front and back. Um, before I stop top stitch along these edges, I'm gonna flip it to the back. And right here where these two seams meet, I'm gonna take the side panel, only the side panels. Um, seam and then I'm just going to clip right next to right next to um, the folded edge so that way I can fold those down once I start sewing and it don't uh, it reduces the bulk from that seam so I'll do that to all four I have to get right up to the front edge so it can fold more flat get them all sides and then this is the next step um, or this is the step that I will use the glue for. You can use double sided tape or you know whatever your purpose is but I like to use the glue so I'll just go on each side put a little bit down and as I kind of work a little bit quickly because this glue dries pretty fast so I'll just put a little bit on each each tab that I just cut and then I'll start back where I first with the one I first put the glue on and then I'll fold those down. And then I'll just clip it. I'm gonna use the plastic, the metal clips because they're longer and you can hold it a little bit better. So I'll just do that for all four. Okay, 
So that's what it's looking like. All four are glued down. Get this out of my way. I'll flip it back over. Top stitch. Eighth of an inch seam allowance. there's a little bit of hangover so I don't want to cut this because it's too long I don't want to cut it with scissors <laughs> excuse me so I'm gonna take it to my cutting mat and I'm going to use my rotary cutter I'm not gonna show that because I don't want to move my camera over there be right back So then I'm going to measure from each edge. And yeah, it's a little bit uh, uneven right here, which is weird. Because I cut this side to make this side even. So why is this at an angle? No, oh, well, maybe it's just how I cut it out. So anyway, I'm gonna do my best to make sure I keep this at three eighths of an inch. So I'll just draw my ruler up like this at the three eighths mark. And I don't want this to be crooked when I cut it. So I'm not gonna try to get that at a three eighths. I'm just gonna do my best to keep it at a straight line. And then I'll draw all the way down. I'm gonna do this to all sides. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my three eighths inch tape and then I'm just gonna tape along the edge. I'm gonna do my very best to get it right up against the edge. Um, on this side, it's gonna hang off a little bit just because I don't want to, um, I don't want to make this uh, not even when, I, when I'm pressing it down because if I do that when I go to close it together, it won't match up properly. I'm just gonna add some double-sided tape here. You can hear that dirt bike in the background. It's my baby. He wanted to go out and ride his bike today, so it's a beautiful day, and I'm like, go ahead, son. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull off all of the backings of the tapes on all sides. So what I find easiest to for this part is, I mean, I will use my nails, I'll use my fingertips or whatever. So I like to put my nail right on the line and then I'll fold it up to that. And then I'll just 
do that all the way around. Okay, so once I have all the edges folded, then I'll go ahead and I'll work on the corners. Um, you want to make sure that as you're working towards the corner, you want to butt them up right along each other. I like to use the side of my scissors, my little snips here, to push those corners in and make sure they're stuck together and then I'll pinch them. Some people will put a clip here simply to hold it together. With this double-sided tape, I don't feel that it's necessary to do that because they stick pretty well to each other. So I'll just do the same thing here. And then I'll just take my snips and I'll snip these corners. And I am going to add a clip to this so they don't come undone. Now, see how fast that came together. I'm gonna add one of my woven labels off of camera and then we'll move on um, to the next step. Okay, now that I have those on. I'll fold it in half. I like to add up the seams. Sometimes they don't add up right. They don't add up precisely. Um, and that's okay um, because if you add book corners, then the corners will be covered, but the seams won't. So just do your best to make sure they're lined up correctly. So line up both sides first. And now it's a little bit better. So sometimes you just have to finagle it, maneuver it, finesse it, just a little. Okay. And it's still not quite lining up right, so I'm just gonna adjust it as much as possible to get it to how I want it. I will be adding uh, corners, the corners to these, so it's okay. Let's just keep going. Just kind of flatten these out, add some clips here. And then I'm just gonna sew at an eighth of an inch. I'll do a little bit more than an eighth just because some of the edges aren't lined up properly. And I wanna make sure I get the whole thing in. done with this you could be done with this but I'm gonna go one step further and add a grommet so with my grommet press this actually punches a hole out um, when once you set it but I like to punch the hole first so I'm just gonna line it up where I want it So I'm just gonna go ahead and punch the hole. Now my hole is punched. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the ground. I'll put the raised part. You can see that. Through. 
I'll put this part in on the back like that. And then I want to put it on there. Just making sure. And then I'm going to punch. Okay. So now that I have the grommet on, I'm going to <clears throat> add these book corners. I think they make a great touch. You don't have to. Again, this is optional. Um, it's not something that is required to complete this bag or this pattern. As you can see, my stitches got a little bit wonky, but you know what? It's just a part of sewing. Um, so I'll just kind of add it, fix it up there. I'm actually going to cut this little piece off just because I want it to... I want this piece to not prevent it from going up too far. So I'm just going to cut it like that. So that way it's a little bit more flat. I'm only going to put two on the top. And then I like to just pinch it a little bit. They are a little bit hard to pinch. I'm going to just pinch it a little bit to close that gap kind of. See there's a little gap there. So I'll just pinch it. Oops, pinch that one too much. Now that the gap is closed, I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. I can grab it. So very small amount. Right there. In the middle. And then on this side. Very little glue. You can barely see any, any in there. And then I'll just stick that on the corner. Give it a nice little press in. I had some little pliers that had the rubber tip on there so it doesn't leave any marks on there. I don't know what I did with them. Um, I've rearranged some stuff in here so I have to remember where I put them. So then I'll just hold it on one side, press it there. And pinched it now it's a little bit more secure and then I'll flip it and then I'll pinch this side and then I'll pinch the middle just a little very slightly there goes that side now I'm going to do the same on this side let me first see if I need to clip anything and no I don't it goes on perfectly and then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue this glue is permanent it dries clear um, it's flexible I love this glue. And then I'll add a little bit more to that. Hold it on there for a few seconds. And then I'm going to pinch this side right there. And give that a little bit of squeeze. And then I'm going to do it on this side. Pinch it right there. And then I'll pinch it in the middle. And there you have it. How adorable. How cute is this? If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, a comment, hey, even subscribe to see more coming to the channel. Until next time, guys. <laughs>